To add text to video in CapCut, it's actually pretty easy. You first need some epic video, which I'm giving you. It's linked in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and import it. I'm gonna go to video and text, free for you. It's a beautiful sunset from Burning Man that looks just like that. And it's all yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Just click on the link in the description below to, to download it now so your text can look as cool as, as what you're about to see. Next, we're gonna drag the text to the timeline. I'm gonna hit Shift Z so the text fills up the timeline, just like that. Learn your keystrokes. Next, we need some text. So we just go over to text and we just drag the default text down here to make it last the duration. We just click and drag it to the end right here. And we've got, I don't know, 12, 13 seconds of text over that cool sunset, but it's not cool text yet. To make it cool text, we go over here and we type in a word. How about burn for burning man in Utah? Next, we're going to change the font. I'm gonna click on system right here and choose modern. You want a big, bold, readable font. You can use any font you want, but the bigger the better so you can see through it. Next, we wanna make the text bigger. So we can just click and make it bigger like that, but we're, we're not seeing through it yet. To see through it, oddly enough, you need to put the video layer on top of the text layer. To do that, I'm just going to click and drag both of these layers up, and that will allow me to now drag the burn layer, the text layer down beneath it like that. It creates a new layer for us. We still can't see it. If you weren't able to drag the text below the video, a lot of people have this issue. What you wanna do is click off of all of this and click anywhere else in the timeline so nothing is highlighted. Jump up here under details, click on modify, and right here it says arrange layers. You wanna make sure that is on. If that's off, you're not gonna be able to move the text. You wanna make sure that's on, so hit save. And next, we wanna be able to see the text. We have to see through this. To do that, we click on the video layer and we scroll down to blend and we're gonna change the blend mode. You wanna change the blend mode to multiply and bam, now we can see through the text already. But there's more, let's make it cooler. What if you want that text to be zooming in on us? So it's got, got a little motion. We click on the text layer, then we scroll down to transform and we click on the keyframes for scale and position. A keyframe marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property. We wanna change the position and the scale of this burn text. And let's say we wanted to like zoom in over the course of a few seconds, jump over to like three seconds. Let's make it bigger right here. And we're not gonna change the position yet, but right now it looks like this. Yep, that white line, super annoying, right? Just click anywhere else in the timeline except on these two guys and bam, the white line goes away so we can see what it's really gonna look like. And now we've got, I don't know, pretty cool. Looks like it's in a movie, right? And what if you wanted to zoom in at us at the end so we can actually see the rest of the stuff behind it? Well, to do that, we want to know where the keyframes are so far and we've got a keyframe right there. So starting right there, we wanna make sure that we have another position keyframe set. Now, the reason for that is because the only property we changed between here and here was scale, there's not a position keyframe here. And we can see that by clicking over here and we can see that by scrolling back down to the transform section, we see we have a keyframe for scale because that property changed over time, but the position keyframe didn't change. We're about to change the position of this text. So to add a position keyframe here, we're just going to click on position, then go forward like maybe a half a second, and we're going to modify the scale. We're gonna scale it way up. Now we wanna scale way, way up, and if we click and drag here, it only goes to 500%. I wanna go, I wanna go farther, I want it to zoom in more. So I'm gonna type in, I don't know, 9,000. It goes all the way up to almost 10,000. It goes to 9,999%, but 9,000 is gonna be, gonna be plenty for us. And that's great, except now we got this big black bar on the way and that, that didn't do what we wanted. It like goes, boom, it zooms way in, but that doesn't look good. So I wanna get positioned back on that keyframe right there. And I'm gonna adjust the position just slightly. I'm gonna drag this over to here. So the black bar, the rest of that is out of the way. And now watch this, boom, it zooms out of there. And that's actually kind of cool. Let's get rid of that white line again. By where, by, by how? By just clicking off it and we go boom. Whoo, and it zooms in, now we can see that. And that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna show you one more thing that, that's even cooler. Before I show you that, if you would take in my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, you already know how to do all of this stuff because I teach you everything CapCut can do and you can learn to edit in like two days. Plus I teach you what you need to do to get more views and subscribers. I give you like 10 steps, follow the steps, get more views and subscribers. I promise your channel will grow way, way faster if you just do those 10 things I share in that video. Plus you'll know how to 
edit like a beast. So check out my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. It's linked in the description below or just go to mastercapcut.com. Now the cool thing we're gonna do to make that even better is jump back here and click on the video layer and we're gonna change the blending mode. Make sure you're on video basic. We'll go down to this blend mode. We're gonna change it to hard light. Bam, look how cool that looks. Watch this now. Whoa, that looks epic, dude. Okay, so that was perfect except for one little thing. This is all washed out. How do we make this not washed out? Well, there's a million ways to do everything in, in editing and CapCut, but the easiest way for us to do this is to just duplicate this layer. So to duplicate this layer, I'm gonna hold down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC, click and drag it up. Now there's two layers that kind of changes the properties a bit, and we want to modify things at the right time. So I'm gonna click down here on the text layer because we've got keyframes there. And by the time it gets to this keyframe, we want this to look normal and not all washed out. So to do that, I'm going to set a keyframe here for opacity right there. I do want it to be 100% there. And this top layer, I don't want it to be the hard light blend mode. I want it to be just kind of normal again. So I'm gonna choose default here. And I'm gonna go back to this first, actually this last keyframe right before it and I want the opacity to be changing over time. So I don't wanna see this layer at all until right here and it's gonna to start to show up. So what I'm gonna do is just drag the opacity down. Now, notice this, if I have a keyframe set for opacity, if I move the playhead and I adjust the opacity, look what it does. Oh, it adds another keyframe. What? I don't even I don't even need to click on add keyframe here. I just drag this down and it adds the keyframe. That, that's kind of magical and that works in all the programs, DaVinci, After Effects, Premiere, whatever. So that's, that's a trick you wanna remember. So. Here, we want the opacity to be zero. I don't wanna see this top layer. And then bam, I drag it down and we can see what happens. I'm just gonna go one frame at a time. I'm gonna click off of this, watch what happens. Boom, 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 boom. And now that's normal. So let's watch this together. The final result of what you can have happen. You can do, you can, you can make this exact thing because you got all the elements. So let's see what this epicness looks like. Ready? Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> look look how awesome that is. You, uh, you, you gotta try it. Oh yeah, and we did go to Burning Man in Utah last month and it was insane. To see that video, subscribe to my travel channel, which is linked right there. You're, it, it, it's gonna blow your mind.